What's going on everybody? So today I want to talk about gray space and some really, really interesting things you're going to want to know before you start jumping into it. Now, I've only recently reached level 74 myself, so I've been able to jump in and test some things out within the gray space. And it is entirely, basically an entirely different map exploration zone. So you can see here, if you click on the bottom right, you'll find that you can click on gray space right here and it will show you an entirely different bar for map completion, which is basically half as much of the general world as your standard map completion. However, the monsters are incredibly, incredibly uh, amped up in this area compared to the standard areas on the map. There's also unique bosses when you get there. There's a couple around the map um, and you're going to want to make sure that you have the time to beat them. So what is this game mode in generally or what is this area of the map? Well, if you go to these little green little, I guess, dots on the map, you will find that they are basically an entrance to gray space. Now, gray space is basically, if you think about like Stranger Things, it's like the upside down. You basically are in the same exact map with the same exact kind of layout, but the monsters are different and the areas in which you need to explore are different and the monsters are harder and your time. So you only have so much time to enter the gray space and get as much done in there as humanly possible. And if you die or you teleport, you get kicked out of the gray space, which is important to note it however does reset every day from what i understand and you'll be able to launch gray space again following day however you're gonna have to wait to the next day to be able to launch the gray space again which will stall you on your progression if you care about that at all so right below us you'll find uh, a little bit of gray space fisher and we can just hit f to enter gray space again you'll just basically have the same map and it'll be all gray <laughs> um and you also see this bar on the left hand side, which is like a little bar of how much time you have in gray space here. Also, if we kicked out, if we transmit or we die, we get kicked out, which is super, super important. On the map, you'll note that there isn't anything necessarily, uh, you know, different about the map itself. But you'll see that there's gray space entities and you'll see that there's new exploration dots on the map. Now, about these exploration dots here, well, first off, I will deal with some of these monsters, and you can kind of see these ones are actually decently easy, and so they're not too difficult here. Um, I can pretty much clear them decently quickly. But over here, you'll find a unique type of world exploration in fissures, and you'll also find energy crystal dust all over the place. Now, when you're exploring the map here, as I've just started, I, again, haven't really gone through and cleared a bunch of the gray space quite yet. I have found that this map here, while looking for another interactive map, because the map that I was previously using did not have the gray space option. So I will go ahead and link this in the description down below if you guys want to check this out. But you'll note this map has a whole new series of explorations um you'll note a bunch of different purple dust gold dust and these gray space rift fissures which are super super important so you'll be able to go ahead and just challenge all these things as we roll along and be able to beat these things as we go through if of course you are strong enough it is very difficult as a free-to-play player to go ahead and can to do you know basically fight off some of these characters and monsters unless you are heavily statted out now i would say that i am definitely above average in terms of my stats but still this is very very difficult for me i'm not satiated currently um, i'm probably trolling but you know i'm not too worried about it because it's about to reset anyways this one right here you can see these monsters are reasonably easy to defeat but then there's usually a boss here um, and that's what's difficult these bosses you can kind of compare them to um the Kind of mini bosses in the standard map they're actually quite difficult there's also these gray space entities that can be quite difficult as well um you can see these things are actually much more tough for me to kill i was able to basically like one shot these other ones but these ones with the shield are actually quite difficult for me um, and then of course there's this boss underneath which 
hit super hard and see if you get trapped in like some of their chains of attacks you're basically permanently stuck that guy just petrified me i just got teleported on and then i'm getting pelted to death so you can see that it's not an easy fight it's not a cakewalk definitely if you're jumping into this you're going to have to kind of focus up and make sure that you're really uh going through and killing some monsters i know some of these have some unique mechanics like this guy seems to be able to heal i'm not sure on all the mechanics unfortunately um but they do require a lot of thinking in order for you to beat this especially if you're free to play if you're whaling you might not have nearly as much difficulty as i will um, but regardless i think a lot of players are going to have a tough time actually challenging these bosses these mini bosses rather i would highly recommend that you take this seriously if you want to go ahead and progress it at as reasonable reasonable pace because you can see here i'm almost halfway through my time and i haven't even beaten one boss now i've talked a little bit and we've talked about the map and everything so i've obviously not been sitting here actually just constantly fighting but these are mini bosses i'll mind you these are not like full-on heavy bosses that you'll end up fighting because there's actually a few around the map and i want to show you guys that just after this but i'm going to see if i can actually beat this guy because i'm not even sure i can i don't know what the mechanics are but he seems to be petrifying me he seems to have these poison fields i'm not sure if we'll we will die i don't even know where where just they just went they just disappeared i guess or <laughs> well okay they just reset i guess well that's unfortunate but regardless i'm not going to stall on that one too much these monsters are difficult that's basically what it is um I really wouldn't worry about gray space exploration too much. I would highly focus on the gold dust. I think the gold dust is going to be very, very important. You can get a lot of gold gear. Each one of these little gold dusts is going to give you quite a bit of gold dust for it. If we just go over to this one right here, looks like it's going to be on top of this building or by this lake. We jump into the map here. Um, we should find one uh, around here or on top of that building. So let's head over there and let's see how much gold dust we are able to get from each one of these. I believe um, it's a couple hundred, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll find out in just a moment. So jump on top of this building here and we will find our gold dust and we'll be able to see how important and how impactful some of these gold dust can be. I know it's pretty impactful for anyone that's trying to grind out their gear. We're gonna go pick up that one. And we got 100 gold dust. So 100 gold dust, and if we look on the map, we will find that there is 67 uh, gold dusts around the map, which, you know, decent amount and a total amount would give you you know 6700 which is a good amount of gold dust you also get some purple dust as well and some other things as you map complete so overall it's actually very very important that you do it now not only that but you also find bosses and i believe there's a rudolph or not a rudolph but a corrupted boss over in rudolph's area so we're gonna head over there and just check that one out um, just to showcase that some of the bosses can even be way harder than these mini bosses that you'll find around with these gray fishers it's so also some tokens around the map as well as you're exploring so there's a lot of things in this map that you're going to want to pick up as you're exploring but it is a tough zone it is a very very tough zone and i'll go over kind of my strategy of approaching gray space uh here in just a moment once i go ahead and showcase this boss so this boss is something that i probably won't be able to defeat unless i'm like you know fooded up and ready to go and fight it and have the full eight minutes um i'm not 100 percent sure but i imagine that it's going to be a pretty tough fight there's a bunch of these little tiny monsters around but there's you can see there's a little boss in the middle now this boss is an actual boss right it's got three hp bars and if i just jump over here and start hitting it you can kind of see the damage that i'm able to deal to it um i have no idea what the mechanics are for this boss um but there you go i just got one shot uh i have no idea what that boss does but it's extremely extremely scaled up compared to some of the things that you'll fight and you see i got kicked out of gray space right i just got kicked out of it because i got killed so obviously um i wasn't like super paying attention there and uh, if i tried super hard i might be able to go ahead and tackle those bosses but as priority and kind of making your life as easy as possible what i recommend is to try and go ahead and focus on the dust gathering the dust gathering doesn't really require any stats for the most part you can kind of just go around and gather it and then focus on upgrading your equipment avoid the fissures they're going to be filled with mini bosses there's going to be some mega bosses around the map there's a whale down here 
that you have to fight and there's a couple other i think one of their boss there's three bosses total in this map but overall it's actually quite tough to beat them so just focus on gathering dust that's what i'm going to be doing in my eight minutes i'm not even going to bother with the bosses i'm not going to bother with the fishers i'm just going to gather all the dust on the map and as we approach level 75 and some of these increases in stats i might return and try to tackle some of these bigger bosses now not to say that i won't be able to beat it at all if i went ahead and tried as hard as i possibly could i might be able to beat the bosses however it's just a headache, to be honest, to, for me personally. I don't want to go ahead and spend eight minutes fighting a boss um, for, you know, kind of a an okay reward. It's not, like, insane. I'd rather just wait a couple days, finish everything else I have to do on the map, which will take me a couple days because of how the gray space works, right? Eight minutes per gray space um, little entrance is not a lot. I believe you get, like, six of them. Or, yeah, you get six of them per day. Um, it's going to refresh every day. So this is going to take you a while to complete the map. And then by the time you complete the map, you're going to be stronger. And then you can go ahead and go back and finish the Great Space Fishers, the bosses, and all that other good stuff. So definitely, definitely what I'm going to be doing as a strategy for this mode. Um, and on top of that, I would definitely, definitely make sure that you're 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 ready to actually comp, be fighting some very, very strong monsters. Because it's going to be a tough fight. So... Hopefully that gives you an idea on what to expect from Gray Space. I know a lot of you are going to be approaching it either today or tomorrow for you casual players that might not have been playing as much. Um, getting to level 74 is a tough experience um, and definitely something that a lot of people aren't even going to get to for at least a certain while. So level cap increasing. I wish it was sooner because we will be able to get stronger uh, faster. You know, be able to do the joint operations, be able to do um, get some up weapon upgrades and make us stronger for fighting some of these bosses overall some people might say well you know your, your open world is going to scale with you etc etc but overall because of the upgrades that we're getting we're going to be overall stronger in comparison to the monsters so i would just wait for that before you start challenging the bosses so thanks for watching guys uh, i'm going to be trying to bash out some of these gray space it is tough and i don't think i'll be able to enjoy my experience too much because of how difficult it is in terms of just like a a slapping fest it's not necessarily difficult it's just i have to hit them so much for me to kill them um i'm not excited for that but regardless i'm gonna keep grinding and hopefully i'll be able to get some better gear in the next couple days so i can make it easier for me and hopefully you can as well if you enjoyed the video be sure to like the video sub to the channel and i will see you tomorrow